کہ ان اللہ دینا تدونا من دون اللہ ہے لائن یخلو کو زباب لائن یخلو کو زباب بسم اللہ there's two types of has yeah the flat one that's ha and you have the one that comes from your chest ha yes bismillah here flat rahman rahim alhamdulillah <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop you there. Alhamdulillah. That's a ha, yeah, not a ha. And it sounded like the Allah there, Alhamdulillah, you made mouthful. Allah, if proceeded with a fata or a dhamma, then it's mouthful. With a kasra, it's not mouthful. Alameen. It's not Alameen, it's Alameen. There's Ain there. It's not a Hamza or an Alif. Major mistakes happening here with regards to the lettering, frankly. Uh, basically, the leader of the Ahmadiyya community encouraged his relative to bury sexual abuse or rape allegations. Now, of course, the Ahmadiyya, they self-identify as Muslims, even though all mainstream Muslims consider them to be heretics, uh, because they don't believe in the finality of the Prophet Muhammad, which is basically a prerequisite to being a Muslim. Anyway, shocking audio has emerged. It's available on YouTube. Uh, and I'm not going to be able to do it. This is Allegiance. ادھر تو کافی کچھ بیچا ہوا ہے ادھر جو ایک انجر خانہ کھلا ہوا ہے ہاتھ خاص میں وہ تو ایک ریڈ زون ایریا کھلا ہوا ہے ہاں عامر لگا ہوا ہے ڈاکٹر بشر لگے ہوئے ہیں ممور شاہ لگا ہوا ہے پورا ریڈ لائٹ ایریا بنا ہوا ہے ہاتھ خاص عامر بھائی تو میں کئی دفعہ بتا چکی کیا کروں اور کلیئر کٹ بات نہیں کری ہوں ان کو ایریکشن نہیں ہوئی تو میں بھاگی ادھر سے ہاں تو وہ سسٹم نہیں جب ہوا جب کام تو میں نے ادھر سے ایک سپرنٹ ماری کہ یا شکر ہو کھر آ کے نفل پڑے یا اللہ اس دفعہ تم نے مجھے بچا دیا ہے ادھر سوشل میڈیا پلاتفورمز وچ ریویلز ایڈ لیڈر آف دی احمدیہ کمیونیٹی ہیز نیم ایز میرزا مسرو احمد ہی انکوریج ایڈ ریلیٹیو تو بیری ایڈیگیشنز ایڈ ریپ ایم نوٹ میکن دس اپ 
Mirza Masroor Ahmed can be clearly heard, and I've listened to it, telling the woman whose name is Nida or Nasser to drop a claim of sexual abuse after she complained to him about it. Um, now, Ahmed told Nasser, and I'm quoting here, he said, my advice to you uh, will be that you drop this case even if the rape happened, even if the rape happened. And I don't know if it happened or not. Even if it has happened, I'm sure those involved would have asked for forgiveness from Allah already. So that's what he said. Now, Nida al Nasser is the granddaughter of the previous caliph of the uh, Ahmadiyyas, the previous leader. His name was Mirza Tahir Ahmed. The conversation happened in July last year. It was recorded secretly, I believe, by Nida al Nasser, and it was released to the public in December. An official complaint has been made of multiple instances of sexual abuse. It's been made to the police and they are investigation, that, uh, investigating, rather, that has been confirmed. The Ahmadiyya community has not challenged the authenticity of the audio. I asked them about it. They did not challenge its authenticity, but they do deny that their leader tried to bury sexual abuse allegations. Now, the reason why this is so big is because the Ahmadiyya um, are regularly promoted by the mainstream media, by prominent politicians, um, as representing the so-called true moderate Islam. Um, and that's because basically they don't criticize the government over its murderous foreign policy, over its Islamophobic uh, policies, its racist policies. And the inference being, if they're moderates, all the rest of us are extremists. So as normative mainstream Muslims, brothers and sisters, we must spread this story far and wide. Should our political leaders be giving this guy a platform?